Welcome back, everybody, once again to Monumenta. I am TJ the Obscure here with you back at this evil, evil puzzle in the crypt. And with some help from you all, I was able to solve the riddle or solve the puzzle or whatever. So apparently what you have to do is you have to fill up the cauldrons with water, which is a mechanic that I've never used before. And in fact, I was totally unaware of until my... Uh, Calamity Canyon playthrough and somebody mentioned it and then I've totally forgot about it again so I don't even know that you could put water in the cauldrons that's that's that was one roadblock there um, so the first thing that I did is I filled up all four cauldrons all the way and nothing happened so then I had to had to use my brain just a little bit just a little bit to try to figure out what to do and the uh, you'll notice for each color green green there is a corresponding uh, brewing stand, yellow, the yellow, there's one poison potion in there. So basically, however many poison potions are in the brewing stand is how much water you want to put into the cauldron. So, for example, for red, we have one poison potion, so we would put one thing of water in the red cauldron. And I press the button, and, uh, and we got a sticky piston for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but I believe we solved the puzzle now, so we should be able to leave... Uh, well, I am duly impressed. Excellent solving skills. <laughs> yeah, with a little outside help. I'm eager to dig into the inner workings of this challenge. There's much to learn about Selksum and Talaxin potion making here. Okay, so I believe that we are now finished with that part of the quest. I'm not sure how much is left or if we're totally done or what. Let's go ahead and talk to Ten. Is this Ten? Paten? Paten? Paten. No, this is Wexley. Uh, hey there, you're TJ the Obscure, right? I just finished setting up the forward camp here, not sure. Okay, um... Uh... Wait, what? I... Haven't I done all of them at this point? Uh, okay, I... I, I think... I think... I think, yes, this is what we want to do. I can feel an intense magic on you, TJ the Obscure. Have you really done it? I have, with the help of your co-workers and some of my viewers. <laughs> uh, I'm glad they were of help. I think it's time we try entering the tomb then. Could the wool be inside? Is this it? Is this... I thought this was the entrance, no? Honor the dead. Um, okay, this is kind of freaking me out. Oh gosh, the door closed. Why did the door close on me? Nobody, nobody attack me, please. Um, okay, there's, there's gravel there. There's a staircase going down. I want to update this gravel, though. What is... Okay, whatever, whatever. We're still in adventure mode. We can't do anything. So let's just follow the path as it is laid out for us. Uh, the Lunatic's Tale. Forgive me. Let's see here. 14 pages. I'll be right back with you. Okay, is that everything? I hear lava. I'm guessing there's lava up there. Uh, nope, that doesn't take us anywhere, I don't think. Okay, did we just leave then? Is that is that it? Grass. It's just, it's, it's a lot of lore. I'm not going to bother trying to explain it. But I guess that's everything. Perhaps. That door is pretty cool. Um, did you find anything inside? Quite a few things. The wool, not here, but I have a pretty good idea where it is. Are you going to tell by Robbie or just head right there? Uh, I'll go tell her. Excellent. I'll gather up the crew and we can try and meet you there. I'm sure by Ravi will send us. Okay. And how do I get out again? I totally, <laughs> totally forgot about that. Uh, I wish we were all such jacks of all trades. Very impressed. I'm glad you were able to help us out there. Can't wait to report back to by Ravi. Oh gosh, how do I get out, you guys? Um... Oh, wait, 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 I think I remember. I think I remember. This is where the exit is, correct? Correct. Let's get out of that evil, evil place. Get our axe back on the bar. 
You're fast there, guy. All right, so we need to head back to Bairavi and report our findings. And I believe this quest is tied to the Orange Wool. Uh, so that's where it's taken us. I'm not sure if we're actually going to need to head there or not. Oh, look, there was a little, there was a little cubby back there. But let's just jump our way to the top of the plateau and go and see what Bairavi has to say. All right, Bairavi. Uh, found anything important yet? My research has been going uh, well up here. I have. You really are the one to bet on, aren't you? Did you find anything in there? A few books and also the location of the orange wool. It's inside the tunnels below the serpent ruins. That's big news. Are you preparing to head there? Uh, yes, I am. I'll send you some help and construct a lobby like I did for the Halls of Wind and Blood. Okay. So... Can we just teleport straight there? Will that finish the quest for us? Or do I need to actually go make my way through the, through the dungeon itself? Let's see, let's see if the teleport will work just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, oh, so now it's, it's locked behind the quest now. Okay, so that means we have to actually make our way through the dungeon. Shouldn't be too bad, we've done it before, right? All right, here are the abandoned tunnels. So let's go ahead and get to it then. Let's uh let's switch to our stake. Things seem oddly empty at this point in time. More skellies for us. Let's just jump and avoid all that stuff. Boom, big explosion. Uh, let's go ahead and block that off. Uh, yes, teleport to the orange wool. Challenge complete. Found the orange dungeon. There is Wexley for us. Hello there, Wexley. Oh, thank God, I'm alive. You are too. This is good. By Robbie sent me here <clears throat> ahead of the rest of the team. I'm to offer you supplies as well as a reward for discovering this place. This is really amazing. How did he build all of this stuff? I really don't know. Best of luck in there. If we can help, we'll try, but you're much more experienced than I am. I got the wool. You what now? That is wonderful. Please go see by Robbie and let her know the good news. I can't wait to start exploring the menagerie. Okay. We got an orange key. What else did we get? Uh, Kyrar or Syrar's sight. An infinity bow. Really? But no power or anything, so... Probably not worth it. Um, can we put all this junk up? Do we have one of those... One of those things so that I can use my... There it is. There it is. Alright, well I will be heading to by Robbie next. And if time permits, then we're also going to be doing... Uh, we're going to try to finish up that other quest. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't know why I need the sticky piston, but sure, we'll take it. We will take it. I'm guessing that Bairavi is going to point us in the direction of the next dungeon quest. Maybe there's somebody that we talked to in FAR to advance things. Or maybe Bairavi is just the main dungeon quest giver. I have. Don't, don't play this game with me again, TJ the Obscure. Did you find the wool? I have. I don't know how you managed to impress me so thoroughly every time. I'll inform Vargos of your incredible actions. I'll update you after I speak to him. Okay, hello again. Vargos is once again surprised but delighted by your discovery. He wanted me to remind you that the Orange Wool has likely granted you more power that you can use at the Academy. Is there anything I can answer for you? Um, I'm actually wondering what we're doing next. Next, we have plenty of work to do. Antigone and Keller have been hard at work trying to find out more on the Talaxan god Mirag, while Ten, Bra Bra Brailer, Re Wexley, and Starn... <laughs> that kind of reminds me of The Office, Michael Skarn. Anyways, uh, continue to explore the fallen menagerie. What can I do? 
Uh, I think we'd be best served having you assist with Mirag Research. We've made some major breakthroughs on that front and are working on finding the Plague Root Temple mentioned in Selksum's tomb. Where is it? Ah, well, that's the kicker. We have reason to believe it is within the Grand Mall, one of the most dangerous places in the King's Valley. It's a bit of an undertaking, I understand, so you're uh, you're in, right? Uh, I can handle it. Um, interesting, really. Quest Roots of the Plague. Head to the Grand Mall and look for something related to the Talaxan God. Uh, I know it's a bit of an open prompt, but just explore around the mob. Perhaps we'll find a book and maybe more graves. Anything can help. If you can bring back what you find, even better. Please be careful, though. The book we found seems ominous, and the temple seems dangerous. I know where the Grand Mall is. We have been there before. Uh, we will not be doing that this episode. Instead, I'm going to head back to... Hopefully, I can still go to far. But uh, head back to that puzzle that we started last episode and see if I can actually complete it this time around, around so that we can continue with the Nelfine's Curse uh, quest. All right, I think, I think I've done it. Maybe, I don't know, this looks... Okay, hey, yeah, we did it. This con configuration it didn't work last time. Did I do something wrong? This requires further research. Uh. Okay, wait, what happened? Configured sample. It radiates a strange energy that makes you reflect on times long past. Okay, so I'm guessing that we take this back to Nelphine and she will perhaps be able to recall what the heck happened to her. So I will be back with you once I reach good old Seerhaven. So they turned down render distance from like 11 chunks to 9, I think, and it, and it does seem to have helped uh, quite a bit with lag. I'm guessing I need to press this every time I want to see well, what's her name, right? Open up. Open up, door. All right, let's hit you with an axe. Have you found anything? I did, actually. I found a machine of some sort and recovered this configured sample. Can I try it? Yes, you may. It either works or it doesn't or I die, but let's not think about that option. She breaks the configured sample. Well... I I remember. I was in FAR. I was supposed to be meeting my friend for some business matters, but I didn't. I can't quite recall what happened or what kept us from seeing each other. Are you okay? I am fine. I just have so many memories rushing back to me at once. I think I'll need some time to think about things. I also need to send a letter to uh, Arian. I'm sure he's been worried sick about me since I've been down here for weeks on end. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, you've done far too much for me already. I truly don't deserve such kindness. I need to give you some form of payment. That chest. I remember the combination to the lock. Let me give you something from it. I don't have much, but you deserve it. Nelphine's Curse complete. Got five experience bottles, four bread, and the shovel. That's actually a pretty good shovel with mending on it. Um, <clears throat> knock back to sharpness too. I mean, it's... Okay, well, it's not its not that great of a shovel, nor is it that great of a weapon either. And five, really, five <laughs> enchanting bottles. Okay, so is that it? Are we done with you then? Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, why are you still here? I didn't want to move too far until I got my response. He still hasn't sent a response? No, I'm getting slightly worried. I hope he hasn't gotten himself into too much trouble. I can't imagine how much stress he must have been in for the last few weeks with my disappearance and all. Where is he located? He is stationed at High Watch. His office is located in the tower directly north of the entrance, second floor, I believe. I'll head there now and ask him. Clear as glass, length is long, difficulty is medium hard. Okay, well that sounds like fun. Uh, Do's likes it. Uh, so where are we at exactly? We have Roots of the Plague, clear as glass, I need to see what other quests we have left here in Seerhaven so that we can get all those all out of the way. Hello there, Mr. Quest Guide. 
Casting for help. Start is Melinda. And after that, and clear as glass, then we should be good to go. Who in the heck is Melinda? And where exactly do I find her? Uh, hey there, come on over. I've got maps, info, books, and survival gear all free. They're trying to make it very um, new player friendly by giving lots of direction. So notice the fireworks there. Uh, it's a signal to the new players. I, I'm i fairly certain that there was an announcement a while back about there being an NPC in one of the houses that offers a quest. I'm guessing that's what we want to do. Who are you? Amelia the pilot. Uh, yo, I recently moved here from on top of a big tree. I had to leave my hot air balloon behind, but things were getting a bit too close for comfort, and I've never been a big fan of heights. Uh, da da da, let's just, uh, let's see. But it was stacked by bandits, I had to flee. I still have the map drawn up if you want that. I would like it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. No, thank you. No, thank you. I just want to find the quest giver. Where is Melinda, I think was her name. That is who we are on the lookout for. I would think that the NPC would be visible from the outside. And it makes it sound like it's part of like a theater troupe or something. So I would think we would want to be looking for I don't know something that looks like a theater I guess I thought for sure that was going to be it but that is that is not part of a quest um huh where oh where would it be Exactly. I don't think it's going to be in one of the guild plots. But I could be wrong about that, I suppose. Oh, wait. I heard a, I heard a villager. Because I saw the redstone torches, and those often mean... That there's... That there's something important here. Oh gosh, there's a downstairs area. You're Marigold. Oh, hello. Have you by chance seen my purple robe? Do I want to know why you need that? Probably not. Oh, look. Turn the lights on. Yeah, why are you standing in the dark, guy? You're freaking me out, man. That's not... That's not polite. Do I need to bring that person a... Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> At least... At least they have ladders down here for, for people like me who just, you know, mindlessly jump into the water. I'm trying to think, what's her name again? Miranda? Miranda? Something like that? Melinda. Melinda, Miranda, same thing. Well. Definitely looking out for the redstone torches seems like it would be a good idea. Oh, well maybe this is it then. Are you her? Yes, you're Melinda. Hello, Melinda. Hello there, you caught me at a bad time. I, I normally would be happy to talk to you and try to figure out why you broke into my house, but I'm a bit preoccupied with my leg. Uh, what happened to your leg? I was putting the finishing touches on my roof and fell off. My leg is surely broken now. I managed to make it to this chair after much struggling, but that is about all I have been able to do. So you need a healing potion. Sadly, I have always been allerg allergic to healing potions. Really? That seems kind of silly. They don't heal me, and they make me swell up a bit. Well, would you rather... Well, I guess that she says they don't heal her. Why wouldn't they heal you? There must be something off about you, Melinda. Um, okay, then do you need a doctor? I do, but uh, Deidre would never let me near the end of it, or let me hear the end of it. We were friends until she beat me in a baking contest. Her bragging got on my nerves, and I haven't spoken to her since. I will have to give in and crawl over there later. It won't be a very pleasant trip. I could go and see her for you. You would do that for me? Thank you. I will have to think of a way to thank you for your kindness. Uh, okay. And where exactly do we go? Is, is that the one in near that we're going to? 
I want to say yes. Or no, maybe not. It's actually pointing us in the direction of Searhaven, like in that direction. So I guess it's, I didn't realize that there was a nurse here in town. Shows how much I know, though. Oh, uh, apparently there's a nurse, there's a nurse in here somewhere. It's in this building, but... How on earth do you get inside of that building? Like, there's no door there as far as I know. Oh gosh, I'm getting some... This place is evil as far as lag goes. Lag is powerful with this building. I broke something. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Villagers, Mrs. Villagers, whoever you are. Uh, okay. How do we, how do we, how? How, 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 how? Um... I don't think we can get through right here. But this is definitely the direction that it's pointing me in, right? Huh. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like there's any kind of door into this building. But it's definitely pointing in the direction of this building. So, yeah, I don't know. How do I, how do I get inside of you? There's a staircase going from the second floor. Why are you, why are you in a place with no doors, person? I don't think you can reach it from this building over here. But I could be mistaken, I suppose. Oh, yep, I'm I'm totally mistaken. Okay, there's a door here. There is definitely a door here. Hi, I'm gonna hit you with a sword. Uh, if you're not feeling well, feel free to rest for a bit in one of the beds. A small warning, though, people complained about having strange dreams recently. A woman named Melinda fell off her roof and broke her leg. Melinda? I haven't spoken to her in years. Well, obviously she needs to be taken care of immediately. Unfortunately, we are running a bit low on supplies at the moment due to the bandits. What do you need? I have most of the things she will need, but we are out of the materials to make casts. If her leg keeps moving, it will never heal, so that is ra rather important. Uh, can I help? If you could get 15 spider silk from the swamp sinkhole north of Searhaven... I would be able to weave it into a cast for her to wear, but it will be very dangerous. I will head right there. Spider silk from the swamp sinkhole. I don't know if I've ever been there before. Is that new? I have no idea. Wait, wait, wait. She said take a rest in the bed, but people have been having strange dreams recently. Does this actually do anything? Oh gosh, to this day you still remember. Isn't this the tutorial? Oh gosh, that was scary. Don't ever do that to me ever again, game. That was scary, but it was also really freaking cool. Alright, this is episode is probably going to be really long, but we're just going to go ahead and complete this quest since we started it. Uh, actually, where are we going? Uh, once you have 15 spider silk return, okay, it's just going to point us in the direction of the nurse. So this is north. We should find a sinkhole of some kind up here, maybe, perhaps? See, I've it's, it's acting like I've never found the castle before. Clearly, I have discovered the castle. I'm aware of the mines... And there's the wizard's tower. But... 
Not sure about the uh, swamp sinkhole. That looks kind of swamp like. Is this it right here? Waterfall Island. Is there stuff actually over here? There's creepers. And skellies from the sound of it. A lot of junk that we don't need. I don't hear spiders though, so that's telling me that this is probably not the right place. Why are there potions? Interesting. I have no idea what that's all about. There's a waterfall up there that I don't think I've ever been to. String. Okay, well let's go in the opposite direction and see if we can find it over there. Oh, oh look, there's a place. Okay, well, let's check it out. Swamp Sinkhole, yeah, I've never been here before. Uh, let's, uh, let's just run around and start setting off all the spawners and whatnot. Should make things easier in the long run. I see there's dispensers, probably where we're going to find the spider circle, I would imagine. I thought it was just going to be drops from spiders. But I guess that is not the case. Okay. And there's two spawners down. Uh, sure, sure. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, not quite what I was aiming to do. Let's see here. Spider silk. We got seven already. Let's uh, go ahead and grab the rest of this stuff. I will take the cobble and the coal. Cobble and the coal. Cobble and the coal. Nothing. And destroy. I think we need one more, correct? Oh gosh. All the things, all the bread, all the coal, all the yumminess. Nope, I don't want you. We have no use for you. What are you doing up there, guy? It's not a not a smart place to be, I don't think. Alright, that's more than enough spider silk. Let's just go around and collect any additional loot that there is. Just because we're already down here. And up the waterfall we go. This would, this would be a nice, nice starter quest, I think. Uh, from what I recall, the first quest I ever did, I think, was the Bandit Troubles quest. Or no, no, no maybe it was the Tiara quest, where you go into the mines, which is, which is a, a bit harder, I would say. So that's a, that's a pretty good starting quest. All right, let's get back to the nurse and finish off, finish off the quest. Huh. If you're not feeling well, okay, yes, I have the spider silk. Uh, okay, it's ready to go. I'll have to do the final fitting myself, obviously, but I will have to grab some equipment before I head over, take this cast and these crutches to her, and I'll meet up with her as soon as I can. Huh. You be gone, and you be gone, and you be gone. I'll take the gunpowder. Okay, let's head back to Melinda, Miranda, whatever the heck her name is. I feel like there needs to be a door on that building, because that way you don't have to go through this building each and every time. Okay, now now I don't know. I forgot where her house is. They all they all look the same. Maybe it was on this street over here. 
Uh, oh, there's more. More guys. Here we go. Here's Melinda's place. Hello, Melinda. Yes, I have. Uh, I appear to have misplaced what she gave me. I'm sure being an adventurer is hard. I'm sure that it is quite easy to lose things randomly, but please hurry and find them. Wait, what did I? What did I lose? I got the crutches. Was there something else there that I was supposed to pick up? Gosh dang it. I hate this staircase too. That's such a dangerous staircase. Somebody's gonna fall off and break their leg and I'm gonna have to do this quest all over again. And if it's me who breaks their leg, then there'll be nobody to do the quest for me. Okay, what else was I supposed to grab? Leg cast. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm doing, right? I'm getting her a cast. So having the cast would probably be important. <laughs> Gosh, this is just... Oh man, it's just so yeah. Lots of walking. Lots of walking this episode. Alright, I got you I got your stuff for you, lady. Uh, yes. Here's the crutches and the cast. I can't thank you enough. My mind is clouded by pain, but I think I left some money in my basement. Would you like to go check? Sure. Oh, she can teleport us too, huh? That's pretty impressive. Herbs and spices. Ah, yes. The most delightful of recipes. To, to truly enjoy the taste of the pig, you must craft the perfect seasoning. Now, you could make it yourself, but why? Come instead to Low Tide and buy a packet for me, Chef Claude. You won't regret it. Okay, there's nothing in the chest. You should go talk to Melinda. I'm guessing this is setting us up for a different quest then. <clears throat> I'm feeling so much better now. Uh, did you find any money down there? That nurse is fast, man. Uh, no, but I found a strange book. Um, don't worry about that. Oh, I had my money on me all along. Silly me, here is your reward, plus a few health potions to help you forget about what you saw. Interesting. Okay, I have no use for those potions. No thank you. Okay. Well, quite a bit of progress this episode. We completed three quests, and we are ready to take on quite a few more. But that's going to have to wait for next episode. That's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.